guys, it's a Vintage Librarian, and we are going to create some super sweet, adorable DIY notebooks that you can create in a flash for back to school or any time of the year where you want to just jazz up your notebooks. This is an inspiration from Kawaii Sweet World, and I just kind of ran with her ideas, and I absolutely love it. So let's get started. For this DIY, you're going to need composition notebooks, colorful cardstock, white cardstock, duct tape, scissors, a paintbrush, and Mod Podge matte finish, or gloss, whatever's your fancy. But for this first one, I printed out a kawaii pineapple on white cardstock, and I chose a complementary color to use for the backdrop of my little kawaii pineapple. Once I cut out my kawaii little pineapple, I then quickly traced the um, outline of my composition notebook onto a colorful complementary color cardstock that I was going to place on top of my composition notebook. And I took, you can use either a matte or a gloss finish, but I prefer to use matte all the time for my projects. So I used a matte Mod Podge and I painted it onto the actual composition notebook itself. I find that using a Mod Podge over a hot glue gun is so much better because the hot glue gun kind of makes it like bubbly looking and not really cute. And a glue stick really just doesn't last the test of time. Once I glued the initial backdrop onto my composition notebook, I then kind of positioned my little pineapple where I wanted it, and then I traced out the words Aloha to make it very fun and festive for the rest of the school year for my stepdaughter, and then I traced uh, the Aloha with a green sharpie to really just match that backdrop. Once I actually traced out the Aloha letters with my green sharpie, I then took duct tape, black duct tape in my um, case, and I ran it along the binding, and I had it go a little bit, about like a half inch over the ends. I carefully folded it so that they wouldn't adhere to each other, and then I cut little squares out from the ends. Um, that way I could easily fold it onto the back and the front inside covers, of the actual composition notebook itself and then I cut off the excess that way the cover of my cute little Aloha would stick nicely and stay nicely in place and also just to kind of give the edgings a kind of professional finish really I super just absolutely love this little Aloha and so does my stepdaughter and I think you guys will like this one too This second one is another little printout design. I absolutely love this little unicorn cat. It's just so adorable. It just makes me laugh. And I made one both for my stepdaughter and myself because I find it so cute that I made one for church, <laughs> for my church notebook. But it's pretty much the exact same process. You find a complementary color to the design that you're choosing. Um, you trace it out, um, your notebook, onto your heavy cardstock, then you just simply glue it on. Now in this case, for this design, I did kind of want to make a little rainbow on it because I thought it was stinking cute. So after I glued the cover of the composition uh, or the cardstock onto the composition notebook, I carefully traced my rainbow out. Um, onto the actual cardstock and then carefully went over it with Sharpie. Now the reason why I used Sharpie colors instead of um, say marker was because every time I would try to use a marker and then Mod Podge would like accidentally rub onto a spot it would smear that actual um, marker and it just didn't look pretty but anytime Mod Podge ended up on the Sharpie uh, it never smeared it, and it still looked really cute.
Now in this case I really debated about using the lime green duct tape for the binding but I kind of stuck with black just to keep it all a simplistic look and I didn't have my stepdaughter on hand also to see if it's what she wanted so I just kind of went with black but, but that's a great option you could use other colors besides black to really jazz up the binding maybe you could use like a decorative duct tape or maybe even a glitter duct tape. This last design I actually drew out myself and I have a little surprise on the back just for me as an added touch I made it a kawaii little sushi roll on the back and I used a whiteboard kind of duct tape on the back and yes please subscribe but it's so adorable I think it's such a great idea to just jazz up your notebook by using that uh, white kind of duct tape that you can really interact with. So for this particular project, I did actually draw out the initial cup itself. Um, it was pretty easy to do, um, but once I drew it out, I did go over it with a Sharpie and then colored it in with um, green Sharpie as well. And of course I had to make the little face adorable with its blushing cheeks. It's so cute. And then I made a little banner. Um, there's two different kinds of banners I was making. I went with more of a scalloped kind of look to it and um, quickly traced those out because I already had a bunch that I had made off of hand and then I wrote Sarah's name on it so it would be very personalized just for her and then I colored my little scallops in. Now for this design, I did create a two-tone uh, cover look, so I did trace it out like I did in all the other ones, but then I created a smaller second tone that I had traced out, just like I did with all the other ones, except I made it kind of about uh, four inches tall and just cut across to create a kind of two-tone color effect, and I think it looked really smart. So here I am just gluing those bad boys on. They're looking sticking cute. And then I glued Sarah's name on. I glued my little Starbucks cup on as well. I just absolutely love this little kawaii Starbucks cup. It's stinking cute. But for this particular project, I didn't create a whiteboard duct tape strip on the back like I did for mine. I actually created a little circle where the heart initially was on mine. Um, and I actually put that whiteboard duct tape in the white circle portion of her little Starbucks cup to make it a little more interactive for her so she could have some fun with it and doodle on it if she wanted to in class. Because why not? Just sounds kind of cute to me. And there you have it guys. Such an easy project. All I needed was some composition notebooks, uh, Mod Podge scissors, cardstock, and a little bit of imagination. You guys could totally do this too. I had a co-worker whose daughter made a bunch of them at home as soon as I had shown her how to make it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!